camera was allowed in this courtroom to see if Officer William Porter will be seen in any city courtroom anytime soon. Big day waiting out a big decision from Annapolis, and that's where ABC 2 News' Brian Kubler is tonight. Brian. Yeah, Jamie, three issues in total were here today, argued here today, but the main one of whether or not William Porter can testify against two or even five of his fellow officers was the headline. All six officers accused in this case arrived early this morning. Uh, City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby was here as well. In total, the issues holding up this case were argued for about two hours in front of the state's seven highest judges. Porter's attorney argued that the officer runs the risk of incriminating himself if forced to testify in front of his retrial on manslaughter. The state says there are safeguards in place and are offering immunity, so that won't happen. This is unique because Porter is not just a witness here, he's a defendant. It's a point not lost in the state's highest court. It's the defense's position that they've made their bad day out of lying. If Porter's a defendant, then he's a defendant. See if he can prove it beyond a reasonable doubt. But he's not a witness. It's anathema to our ideas. Witnesses don't have skin in the game. Do those cases give us a flavor that there is a difference in this court when you're dealing with a defendant rather than a mere witness? The state would carry the, and this is what the federal case law has said, the heavy burden of establishing that everything that it introduces against Mr. Porter was taken from somewhere independent of his testimony. Now again, there is no timetable for the judges in this court to make a decision. But many people we spoke to says they will expedite this decision because there are at least five, maybe six cases waiting on this decision. For now, we're live at the Court of Appeals in Annapolis. Brian Kubler, ABC2 News. Hi, Brian.